Today is a special day. If you're looking for gecko information on the internet, this video is for you. I'm going to cover the ins and outs of the Supreme Gecko page, and hopefully you can find the information that you're looking for by following along in this video. I'm going to help you quickly navigate this page and find gecko information like you won't find anywhere else on the internet. So let's get into it. Take one moment right now and leave a comment below. Let me know if you've been to the Supreme Gecko page, if you visited the Supreme Gecko page often in the past, if you like the information and the work that we're doing with the Supreme Gecko page. On the home page, you can go ahead and navigate to different pages on the site, but let me cover the main page here. We have Daily Gecko News. This is a place where I share daily information about geckos or about Supreme Gecko. As well, we have Gecko of the Month. And we've done several Gecko of the Months. As you can see here, we have Dana Freeman featured in our Gecko of the Month. Let me ask you if you have a gecko that you're really, really proud of, or if you're proud of the work that you're doing in the uh, gecko community, if you'd like to be featured on the Gecko of the Month or Meet the Hobbyist, leave a comment below and let's talk about how we can get you on the Supreme Gecko page. Moving down the page, we have the latest articles Meet the Hobbyist, Dan Thomas from Animal House is featured. We also have a featured gecko again. And each one of these, you can click on the button and it will take you right to the article or click on the heading and it'll take you to the article as well. And then below latest articles is a listing of the, the articles that we've done most recently. I'll keep continuing down on the page. This is a site holding tons and tons of gecko information, but it is also used as the Supreme Gecko store site. Here we have a section featuring the Crested Gecko Diet. And on the right, we have a section featuring our collection. Let's go ahead and move back up the page. And on the right side, you can connect to us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. You can do a search for a specific animal on the Supreme Gecko page. You can go right to purchasing the Crusted Gecko Diet. You can check your cart. You can also leave a comment for me. I try to reply to these comments at least within a day, if not much, much sooner than that. You can also share your experience with Supreme Gecko. If we've done something that you're very pleased with or you have a concern about, you can share that experience. You can sign up for our newsletter. And we are also featured on two top reptile sites. Let's go back to the navigation. The first tab here is our collection. And if you click on one of these, let's take Crested Geckos as an example. It takes you to our collection page for Crested Geckos. I'm going to, to zoom down here a little bit, and I've broken this into pinstripes, reds, and, and other types of crested geckos. So here you can read about our collection. You can click more photos and see some of our groups of, of uh, pinstripe crested geckos. Let's go ahead and go back, and we'll go into uh, Periodora picta geckos, and you can see some of our Periodora picta. You can do the same for gargoyles or leopard geckos, chihuahuas, other geckos. Let's go ahead and click on other geckos, and you can actually go in by continent to see some of our other geckos. Let's click on gecko listing. This is probably the key piece of this site that you want to know about. I've spent hours and hours and hours putting this together. This is broken down by the genus. And as we go down through here, you can see each of the genuses I've kept or have information about. Let's go ahead and take a peek on Coleonyx. So in this section, you're not going to find every single coleonic species, but you are going to find the coleonics that I've either kept or have some information on. And with each one of these, you can click on the, the exact species and get all kinds of information on, let's say, coleonis mitratus. You can see additional pictures. You can get the full listing, other species, and that'll take you back to the page that we were just on, the description, the range habitat, care sheet, breeding, setup and other articles. Let's go down the page a little bit here 
And here's the full list of the scientific name of Coleanus mitratus. You can tell if we're keeping them at Supreme Gecko and if they're currently for sale. And you can go right to the page or to the store to purchase if you'd like to. Going down the page, we have the description of Coleanus mitratus. We can see the care sheet, breeding information, setup, and if I have pictures of their setup, I'll share that information in here as well. And we have other articles that you can read as well. Sometimes I'll throw in some suggested books. And if there's specific Facebook groups that are related to the Coleonics or specifically about Coleonics mitratus, you can go right to those groups by clicking this button. We're going to go back. Let's see that genus page again. And as you can see, we have quite a number of the uh, gecko genuses listed here. So again, this is not a full listing of all of the gecko species, but it's everything that we've kept in the past or have some information on. And again, you can see this is quite extensive information on, on each one of these species. Let's go back again on this genus page. I do have a quick reference, care requirements, size, availability in the hobby, arboreal or terrestrial, whether they're nocturnal or not, if they're calm or not, temperature requirements, humidity requirements, location, some general information, and some care requirements. This information right here is the legend to the above information. That covers the collection navigation bar. Let's go ahead and go into Learning Center. And again, here's a ton of information. Let's go ahead and go into articles and using the same basic uh, genus listings, you can go in and see leopard gecko articles such as leopard gecko egg incubation questions, how many leopard geckos could I keep together, leopard gecko breeding, a little nip now and then, frequently asked questions. So each one of these gecko genuses has its own category of articles. Let's go ahead and go into uh, gecko frequently asked questions. And this again took a lot of time to put together, but here are some of the very, very basic questions about two different geckos, leopard geckos and crested geckos. And I'm hoping I'm answering all of the general questions that everybody has about leopard geckos and crested geckos. How do I take care of my new leopard gecko? What should I do if my gecko won't eat? How do I find my missing or escaped gecko? My gecko is having a difficult time shedding and so on. Let's go ahead and go back up to the top. I have a section for videos, but it's probably better if you just go right to YouTube off of the main page and find all the YouTube videos that we have. It's probably going to be a little bit more up to date than this section. Let's go ahead and go into blog. In the blog section is most recent articles or any contribution to the page that we've had. Here's an interesting one, this Daily Gecko News. In 2014 and 2015, I put together a daily recording of what was going on with Supreme Gecko. Let's take 2015 as an example. If you're looking for behind the scenes information on a small to medium sized breeder and what goes through a day to day process, you can find it in this daily blog. Again, every single day something's going on. And you can see some of these are quick postings. Some of these are construction posts. Here's a new rack that we created. Some of these posts come out and give you examples of issues that we've had in the facility. I'm very, very transparent with this blog. And if I've had a problem in the facility, I share the information. But you can see this is intense information. Let's go ahead and go back to links. Here's another great section of this page. If you're looking for links to specific gecko information outside of the Supreme Gecko page, I try to share my favorite links, such as dwarf geckos, Ligodactylus and Spirodactylus, Europlatus, just phenomenal links here. The Felsuma. Gonatoides, another gonatoides, tons of information. Let's go back up to the top. Featured vendors. This is a listing of some of the vendors that we've been very, very close with in the past. And this is a section that we can certainly update if you have a recommendation for a vendor. If you're a vendor, please give us that information and we can update this page. 
And finally, in the Learning Center, we have Most Underrated Gecko. A few years ago, I went out to some of the biggest breeders in the hobby and asked them what they thought was their most underrated gecko. These are geckos that are being kept in the hobby, but not as much as they should be kept. And you can see a great list here of some of these geckos. I've contributed a couple of articles, but we have some just fantastic breeders joining in, the, in this effort. Some of these are genuses, some are very specific geckos, and I think we were up to about 50 most underrated geckos. Great information, they're very short articles, but they point out some of the specifics about some of these underrated geckos. Excellent photos. So that's the Learning Center, and of course we have the shop online. I'll cover this very quickly. If you know Supreme Gecko, if you know myself at this point, you know that I don't really go out and publicly advertise the Supreme Gecko page as much as I really should. And I certainly get a lot of people saying that I should be promoting the sales of the Supreme Gecko more than I really do. So let me just take a, just a minute here and cover some of the places that you can find animals and supplies in Supreme Gecko. Here we have our geckos for sale, leopard geckos, crested geckos, gargoyles, picta, and other geckos. We have the crested gecko diet, supplies, and a new section called isopods for sale. Let me just go into something like crested geckos, for example. And we'll be keeping this page up to date more in the uh, ongoing future. We've, we've had a lot of geckos hatch out recently. So I'll be going into this page and updating them. So here's our crusted geckos. You can go into any of these pages, see the geckos that we have for sale. If it has an add to cart, that means you can grab it and, and purchase it. If not, it'll have a sold out and you won't be able to purchase it. Some of these I list for a little bit longer uh, once they sell, just to give people an idea of what these geckos look like. Other geckos. This is the section where I show all of the other geckos that we're selling other than crusteds and picta and leopard geckos. And there's some really fascinating geckos in here. And this page will probably expand several times in, in the next few months. In the supply section, we have some of the uh, supplies that we sell, hatching material, uh, dishes and cups, other reptile related. We don't carry tons and tons of supplies, but we carry the supplies that we really, really believe in. In the isopod section, let me change this to 60 just to make it a little, little bit easier. I try to show all of the isopods that we currently have in-house. And if we have a add to cart, that means that you can go ahead and purchase that isopod. We're really thankful for all of these isopods that we're currently keeping just a fascinating fascinating animal you can go into each one see a picture you can go into the product details and read a little bit more about each of these isopods and in the next month or so i'm going to build on these informational pages so that you can see more and more care information and specifics about these isopods and again we do carry crusted gecko diet currently we're carrying pangea in the contact us section we have information about Supreme Gecko. We have our testimonials. We have some information about after your purchase, what to do with your geckos once you receive them. Just general care information and the contact us. We also have our terms. And finally, we have a section for advertising with Supreme Gecko. We get a lot of traffic at the Supreme Gecko pages. A lot of people are coming here, even though I don't promote this, they're coming here to get information about geckos. If you have a business, if you have things to sell, you can certainly advertise with us. I'll go back to the home page here, and each page has a separate advertiser section. Here we have Reptile Rapture and Rainbow uh, Mealworms. I've gone into the Learning Center articles, and you can see that we have Zilla products advertising with us. Years ago, I decided to allow advertisement on the Supreme Gecko page, but I've really never been uh, one to take money for the advertisement on Supreme Gecko. What we do, though, is we do a 12 Supreme Days of Christmas giveaway at the end of the year, and we haven't done it for the last couple of years, but we did six in a row before that. And we'll probably do one in 2019. What I ask vendors to do then is to donate some products or animals to the 12 Supreme Days of Christmas to give away to other hobbyists as a way to promote this hobby, to develop the passion that we all have for these animals, and also as a promotion to the vendors. 
to these dealers. So again, if you like the Supreme Gecko page and you think that this would be valuable for you to advertise on the page, contact me and let me know and we can work something out so that you can put your advertisement on the Supreme Gecko pages. I hope this was very valuable information for you. I really, really think that there's probably not another site on the internet that has more gecko information than the Supreme Gecko page. If you have any thoughts about what else we can add to this page, or if you have any questions, please leave those in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as absolutely soon as I can. Thank you again for watching. Thanks for staying with this video the whole way. I appreciate your comments. Make sure that you hit that like button. I would really, really appreciate it.